Steps to take to become more disciplined and accomplish your goals. I recently was asked a question um, on my Instagram, which I am pulling up now. And I had to ask me any ask me anything about biz and personal. And one person asked me, who slash what taught you discipline and how has it changed your life? So what I couldn't answer the who and what taught me discipline, but I know that in order for me to become and put my and see my vision come into fruition, I had to be disciplined. So the first step that I took was writing down my vision. What does what do I want my future to look like? And I wrote it down in detail. I have it on my vision board, which y'all can't see while I'm pointing at it. And I have on my whiteboard um, things that I need to do to accomplish that goal. And what motivates me is my future. The life that I want my children to have. The things that I want to accomplish and the things that I know I deserve and will have. So knowing your motivation will help with you being more self-disciplined. After you know your motivation, now it's time to break down the goals and that you want to accomplish within that vision. And one thing that I forgot to mention with knowing your vision and your motivation and what you want your future to look like, make sure that you pray to God about it. That was one thing in the past that I did not do. <laughs> Just said, oh, I want this and God, you finna give it to me. That is the wrong thing to do. So make sure that you are praying to God about your vision and asking him, Lord, please guide me in the steps of what your plans and purpose over my life are so that I can fulfill your purpose over my life. So that's when going back to make sure that you know your goals you need to accomplish, the goals you want to accomplish in order to get this big vision that you have over your life, um, and knowing the steps to take to achieve that goal. The third thing is developing a routine develop a routine develop a routine I used to not have a routine um, I recently developed my morning routine and I wake up at 4 a.m. look that not, might not be for you or everybody but I love waking up at 4 a.m. and with waking up at 4 a.m. and having a morning routine this allows me not to fall into idle time of doing nothing or being on YouTube watching my favorite YouTubers or scrolling social media and falling into that rabbit hole when I when you have when I have a routine I know what I, exactly what I'm supposed to be doing it's like for example if you have a work schedule you know you're supposed to be at work at this time and you know your duties and tasks that you have to do and having a routine for yourself and to accomplish your goals it helps tremendously with staying on task and making sure that you're doing at least one thing a day to put you in the path of um, your vision becoming into fruition in real life, in real time. And I am also a part of, if you would like to join, a free community called the 4 a.m. Um, 4 a.m. Rise where we wake up at 4 a.m. and we join a Zoom and we hold each other accountable by just being there and committing to tasks that we write down in the excel sheet of what we're going to do and it has definitely helped me tremendously shout out to Shade Burrell she came up with the um, community in zoom week and I will have that down below so yes developing a morning routine and if you would like me to show you my morning routine or do a youtube video um, just let me know and I might already just do it anyway. Fourth thing, develop a mantra that relates to you. 
my favorite mantra that I got from the book of the game of, of life and how to play it a book on prosperity um is and I have it on my whiteboard up here is I have a wonderful business I give wonderful service for wonderful pay to wonderful clients in Jesus name amen so having that mantra, I say it in the morning, I say it when I don't feel like doing <laughs> the things that I need to do and take action on to get me to that next level, I'll say that mantra alongside a prayer. So just to recap is number one, know your motivation, know your vision, write it down, make it plain and pray over it with God to make sure it is that you're fulfilling his purpose over your life. Number two, write down the goals you have to accomplish to get to this vision um, of how you envision your life and how you want your life to be. And break those goals down into little small steps so you get to the micro. You mean it's like pick up the pen and write this sentence. Um, the third thing is developing a routine um, so that you are not in idle time and you're doing something every day, every day that gets you closer to your goals. And number four is write down your mantra, create your own mantra. Highly suggest the book that, um, that I mentioned before and I will link it below to come up with an intentional um, mantra that you can say every day. One thing I will say when you do come up with your morning routine, the first thing I do, not every day, but majority of every day is pray. Prayer is somewhere in my morning routine. Praying, um, prayer changes things. I really believe that it has done wonders for me and even building my relationship with God. So that is all. Oh, and one more thing. The for knowing your vision, write it down um, on a trifold or on a whiteboard so that when you, those days you're feeling lazy and like you don't want to see something or that you don't want to do something, you look at that as like, me sitting in bed is not going to get me that. And I promise you it will get you up. It gets me up from personal experience, looking at what I want to accomplish. That's what I'm staring at right now. And... Me lay, knowing that me laying down is not going to give me that. But me being up, me being consistent, me um, being uncomfortable, me posting to social media gets me to that closer to that vision for my life. That's all that I have to say today. Thank you for um, being here on this journey with me and I hope to see you in the next video. And let me know down below if these tips were helpful in any way. And have a wonderful, blessed and Continue to flourish. Bye.